how to use average if else function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Train Tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to explain the average if else function and I'm going to talk about the parameters and I'm going to talk about how you can use it and how you should use it. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> The best way to learn about a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply the average if else function and all of us know that average function gives you the average number from a data range and we are going to find that out that's obvious we are going to find out the average sales price here in this scenario but we are going to consider some conditions okay so we are going to find out the average sales price based on product name product category and based on salesperson in three different way okay first we're we're going to apply average if s function here and then we added the category as product then we expand the function and add category to it and then we expand the function again and we add the salesperson okay based on this criteria we are going to find out average sales price okay so let's apply it equal to average is de and you can see here average if s okay and you can see in the tooltips it says find average arithmetic mean for the cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria okay so select it as we have already said our criteria will be first product and it is asking for the average range so from where you are going to find out the average this is the first parameter select that range and this is our selected range or our average range and now if i press comma it is asking for the criteria range our criteria range will be our product name okay and then if i press comma it is asking for the criteria i can write any product name inside this function or i can select a cell where i'm going to write it as i don't like writing inside function i'm going to select a cell so in this cell i'm going to write a product name and then this function will find out the average of that product okay and if i close parenthesis and press enter it's giving me an error because i haven't selected any product name here but if i select this product and then this is the average sales price of that product okay so 1000 2000 1500 and you can see this is the average sales price and if we expand the function again in the last parameter if we press comma it will ask for the second criteria range so this is our second criteria range we are going to find out the category also and if i press comma it is asking for second criteria which will be written here and if i press enter you can see again we have error because we haven't selected any category so if i select this category and you can see it is showing the value because these two condition matches each other and this is the average price let's expand the function again press comma and last range and if i press comma again it is asking for the criteria 3 which will be written in here and if i press enter i like always error but if i select a sales person name here and you can see this person sold this product under this category and the average selling price was this so this is how you can find out the average value based on multiple criteria and whenever you are working with multiple criteria or condition you will find the if else function connected with the default function so this is how you can use average if else function okay so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe